Hi, I'm Magdalena Zichern, a painter from Germany, and this is how the lockdown has affected my life and work. I planned on coming to China this summer, but right at the moment I might have to reschedule. There are another two exhibitions in Rome in autumn, and I'm not sure whether I'll be able to attend too. On the other hand, I have plenty of time for painting, sketching, reaching out to friends in my artistic network, planning new projects, signing up for art competitions, thinking and writing. Through a collaboration with a London-based sketchbook designer, I've picked up again the practice of daily sketches and have developed new formats. Moreover, I've spent more time doing other things I love, reading, cooking, learning to code, maybe it will be useful someday, knitting, photography. I never thought of my photography as art, but haven't stopped taking and editing them for many years now. And recently I've started to take it more seriously. I will show a series in an exhibition soon. I've been thinking about the value of art a lot recently. Many people ask what use art can have in situations like this. What's the point of trying to get stipends and exhibitions when people are dying? The economy is collapsing, climate is changing and our fundamental rights are being restricted. Who needs art in circumstances like these? Artists are afraid to become superfluous or worse, an obstacle by insisting on getting access to resources when there's always someone who needs them more. That's why they try to connect to the current situation through their work. I've been thinking a lot about refugees and the camps in Greece and Turkey right now. I wish we could do more to protect them and make our governments help them. I'm one of the artists who signed up in the Artist Support Pledge on Instagram. Artists offer artworks for 200 in the currency of their country. Once they have sold five pieces, they commit to buy one artwork by another artist. Additionally, I have committed to donate another 200 to an organization that helps refugees in those camps reach the goal. Art always responds to reality, some of it in more and some in less obvious ways. But artists are human beings, they live in the same world as the rest of humanity and their experience shapes their output just as with everyone else's. If we look at how people in lockdown are now adapting to the situation, we see that most of them connect with the world through visual art, books, movies, etc. now to distract themselves from the current situation. We do need art and culture, now more than ever. These days I'm very grateful for the possibility to reach out and connect via social media and video call. And it's interesting to hear from friends and other countries how they experienced the quarantine. One friend in China wasn't allowed to leave her house in two months. Another in Italy actually enjoyed being able to stay at home with her boyfriend and his living community. All of my friends in Iran are safe, thankfully. My own city, Halle, was the first in Germany to introduce social distancing rules. The schools are closed and it's forbidden to meet people outside the own household, with a few exceptions. We only leave the house for buying groceries or spending time in nature. I think it's important to take the responsibility for others very seriously. That's why we are following the social distancing rules pretty strictly. Most people I know do that too.